We're going to New Mexico. BYU against SMU in the New Mexico Bowl. SMU favored currently by three and a half. The total sits at 64. Of course, latest numbers at BetUS. Uh, but let's go on and pull this up. It's a 6.30 p.m. Central Time game. And based on the numbers from week eight through the end of the year, I've got SMU favored by .03 points, which is absolutely bonkers. Uh, you look at strength of record, BYU's number 58, SMU number 50. The strength of schedule is is fairly similar. BYU a little bit stronger team strength rec- uh, uh, rating, uh, number 49 to number 58. You look at PPA margin, BYU is 69, SMU number 62. But that is because these are kind of mirror images of each other, right? Uh, BYU, number 7, offensive PPA per drive, predicted points added. Uh, SMU, number 10, in offensive PPA per drive. You look at the defense, both defenses are putrid. SMU's defense, number 115, PPA per drive. BYU, number 126. You look at offensive success rate, defensive success it's all the same, right? Both offenses should be able to do basically whatever they want. Uh, SMU's offense, not great at running the football. They do throw it a lot, and that is something to pay attention to. BYU's defense, number 121 in passing success rate allowed. Number 116 PPA per pass uh, allowed. SMU's offense is number 13 in PPA per pass. Number 42 in passing success rate. Uh, The one thing that BYU's defense does a pretty good job of is they don't allow a lot of passing explosiveness. Number 31 in explosive uh, pass rate. You look on the other side, like uh, as far as running the ball for SMU, number 53 uh, PPA per rush, number 47 uh, rushing success rate, number 75 in rushing explosiveness. Well, BYU is number 56 in rushing explosiveness allowed. So there might be there might be some ways that BYU can uh, can slow these guys down at least a little bit, especially with Rasheed Rice uh, being out for this game along with the tight end, etc. Right uh, on the other side. SMU's defense, number 100 in PPA per pass. Well, BYU's offense is number 9 in that. Uh, BYU's offense, number 8 in passing success rate. SMU's defense is number 92. Like, there's... That's a huge, huge difference. As far as running the football, that's where this... Mike could play into BYU's advantage. Now, we obviously have to see if Jaron Hall is going to play in this game. I think that changes things dramatically. But even if it is a third-string guy, they can still hand the ball off and have a pretty good day because... SMU's defense, number 125 in PPA per rush, number 97 in rushing success rate allowed. A lot of this has to do with that offensive line at BYU. BYU's offensive line, number two in offensive line yards, number 21 in stuff rate allowed. SMU's defense, number 107 in offensive line yards allowed, and they are number 88 in stuff rate. So this certainly plays to BYU's advantage. Uh, BYU, number 15 in standard downs PPA, number 13 in standard down success. Uh, SMU number 99 standard down success allowed number 125 in standard downs PPA looks like BYU will be able to stay ahead of the chains uh, a little bit easier Uh, but when you look at standard down success on the other side I mean obviously SMU 31 um, in standard down success BYU's defense number 113 turnover margin uh, BYU does not turn the ball over they're number four in giveaways per game SMU is number 66 that could certainly play a big role here we need to see about Jaron Hall. We need to see, you know, et cetera. But when I look at these numbers, like I, I, I think I have to go with BYU. BYU plus the four, uh, even with all of the unknowns, because you also have some unknowns for SMU. So I, I like the Cougars here. Uh, I think they were embarrassed last year in that Independence Bowl loss to UAB. They are going to get the ship righted and go out. And I, I think they can get a win here even without Jaron Hall, even with a third-string quarterback because the backup has already transferred over to Arizona State. Um, I think I think they'll be able to run the ball. And so at BYU plus three and a half, uh, or four if you can get it, whatever whatever your best number is. Uh, but go to BetUS and uh, make sure you get signed up over there. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.